Well, a small farm in Battleground is making the effort to go carbon neutral, and they're doing it in a unique way by putting electric vehicle motors onto their decades-old tractors. Cor Harlan is live at Misty Frog Acres this morning, learning more about the farm's work. Hey, Cor. Emily, how you doing this morning? You know, this is a, this is the thing here. These small farm equipment uh, tractors here, great for uh, one to five acre farms, which a lot of farms are out here, particularly in the battleground area. This is Danny Rowland here, who has uh, breathing some new life into these old farm tractors. And Carl, take two steps forward. Danny, lift up the hood there and tell the folks at home who are just getting up here why exactly this uh, tractor is getting a new life. Because Danny, the motor on this thing quit, right? Yeah. It's a it's a tractor of almost 50 years or so. Yep. And the motor quit and you say, watch out Carl. Mother, you say you just got tired of trying to get a hold of people in Pennsylvania to get the similar motor out here, <laughs> the internal combustion engine that used to power this another one out here. Yeah. So you decided to make your fleet of tractors on your little space of heaven here all EV. That's right. That's why, right. Why why and and how and and all the rest of that? Well, um, we decided we're, we raise pastured poultry here, and um, I wanted to make my uh, my what I'm selling at Vancouver Farmers Market carbon emission light. Right. So I decided, and we really, you know, we want to do something about the environment. We see what's going on in the world, as we all have been seeing. It's not getting any better anytime soon. So the sooner we can do something about it, the sooner I am. And so I decided to start a GoFundMe see if people could help me out with this EV tractor conversion and um, turn all these three tractors into electric vehicles. And we've uh, we got one almost done. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, it's, it's about the environment and it's about bringing good quality food to people in the local area. Pick up one of those batteries because I think a lot of people would be amazed. Those are, those are the batteries now. You got about 23 of these little batteries uh, connected to this one tractor here and that'll give you an hour's worth of, of use time here. But as you say, like on the farm, you're stepping off of this and on this all the time, so an hours of, of continuous use, but more than that if you're, if you're getting on and do, getting off, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, I, I, I figure with the way that I use the tractors, you know, I'm, I'm out there often on the tractor, you know, loading, unloading, then I'm going to rake some stuff out or I'm uh -huh. going to plow one little lane. Um, usually I keep the engine going because I'm always afraid it's going to quit. Right, so. right. You're not a mechanic either. No. <laughs> nor are you really an electrician either. No, nope, no. Nope. And this is something that people, and, and particularly uh, people of, who are in your category here, small farm, this is something people can pick up and do, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I just... I joined a couple of do-it-yourself uh, Facebook forums, do-it-yourself electric vehicle forums, mm -hmm. and started researching and learning all about it. And, um, you know, I went from there. Okay, so his plan is, Danny's plan is to have a battery platform here that you can essentially pick up maybe. Yep. And then eventually move over to one like this. Now, this still has the old internal combustion engine in it. Yep. But it's going to need to be replaced at some point too. But your, your plan is to have a platform of batteries that you can actually just lift out of one tractor, put into another tractor, depending upon whatever you need. That's right. For the That's day, right. right? Yep, yep, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to make this whole unit here modular uh -huh. because the thing that drives the tractor down here, uh -huh. it's just this little EV motor. It's, it's about that big. It's underneath all these batteries. This is your gas can. Imagine right, that. Right, right, right. You know, there's no... There's no head, there's no carburetor, there's no explosion, there's right. no f emissions. It's going to be quiet, and I think I'm going to really learn about how squeaky this tractor is when <laughs> there's no engine going. Right, right. <laughs> the, en the engine noise does cover up a lot of you. are probably right about that. And well, it, it, this is cool because you're, you're, you're saving these old tractors, which are nostalgic, beautiful old machines with an excavator on the front of it here and a, and a, and a, and a dump in the, in the front here. It'd be a shame to get rid of these. It's nice to breathe new life into these. 15 seconds now on your GoFundMe because you, you need some money uh, to, to help finish this essentially, That's right? right, that's right. So I invested in it, but the GoFundMe, um, help, GoFundMe.com, help us go electric on the farm. You can find us on our uh, f Facebook page, Misty Frog Acres. And I've got a YouTube channel, Misty Fra Frog Acres uh, LLC, if you want to see some silly videos. Misty so. Frog Acres, if you want to see silly videos. i got another place to go for silly videos in addition to his place, but uh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool out here. Uh, from Misty Farm Acres out here, Misty Frog Acres, I'm sorry That's about okay. That. With the electrification of the tractor fleet out here, and tractor fleet, I mean three tractors here that do a lot of farm work out here, and it's Danny's intent to be... Uh, Emily, uh, uh, carbon 
light, not carbon. carbon neutral, but carbon light, just doing what he can to uh, lighten up his footprint on the ground that he works on all the time here and hopefully make the world a little better place in the process. Yeah, it's Absolutely. very cool. It's a good goal and, uh, you know, creative way to try and, and switch something yeah. up and get to reuse an old tractor. Love the idea. All right. Thanks, Cor. Out at uh, Misty Frog Acres Farms in Battleground. I'm sure things are certainly <laughs> quite misty out there this morning, Kelly. Yeah, we are.